Okay, last time we left off, you guys had arrived at um, the winery, fought your way through a teeming stream of vine blights and twig blights, accessed the winery, met a rather pissed druid, who obviously had some business in the winery, um, but yet you managed to defeat him with only several parts of the winery being set on fire. We're playing now. Um, okay. And okay. Anything else? No. Okay. And unlike Cosron's normal mode of operation, the arch steward actually set fire to parts of the uh, winery. But he didn't burn me. He didn't burn you and he didn't burn the winery down. It's a little <clears throat> singed in places. Immediately after, instead of conducting any kind of investigation through the rest of the winery to make sure that it was safe, you immediately went upstairs and demanded dinner and um, rooms from the Markatov family who returned after seeing smoke and flames and you guys enter the winery, cautiously entering. They then hospitably offered you overnight accommodation at, uh, in fact, very little charge, in fact, none, um, of which you then entered into one of the guest rooms and curled up in various corners of it. Some of you together, some of you not. Um, as the typical Barovian thunderstorm and rain uh, continues uh, on the, the pitter-patter and the thrashing on the roof uh, above you. The night progresses uneventfully and all of you have various dreams. <laughs> really? Um, some of you decide to um, engage with these dreams. Now, this, before I progress, do any of you wish to say anything to your fellow party members? Um, yes. Are we like we're awake type of thing, or are we kind of? Well, in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. you know, you could wake up. I mean, these dreams have gripped all of you, as if someone has grabbed you, not quite so by the throat, but perhaps by the back of the hair. So then, and haughtily offered you opportunities beyond your wildest dreams with a mere cost. Some of you have rebutted these, some of you have considered them, and perhaps some of you may have accepted them. Hmm. Hmm. Cub looks like he's just going into a meditation. Gron needs a tissue. And Gron needs what? A tissue. A tissue. And he's not crying. <laughs> Did we ask the, um, <coughs> the family about the scroll that we found on the uh, the druid that we did kill? That we murdered? Uh, no, yes. but we did ask them about uh, why they thought the son was the um, betrayer. Yeah. For the second for the second time, yeah, yeah. But we didn't we didn't mention the scroll or what it said. No. No. Absolutely not. I think it, is, it, is it worth asking them? It's the um, middle of the night. It is the middle of the night. At, at this particular point, we have not breached dawn yet. I'm sorry, I'll shut up then. Have we literally gone through one packet of chicken biscuits already? Oh yeah, they disappeared. <laughs> have they I got any reserves up there? Have I got uh -huh. any reserves? Was that the one that I bought or have I got another one? I think it's the one you bought. <laughs> I had four packets up there. Oh like, yeah, they went like... They went, okay, yeah. so note to self, add to right now that she's I, back. I've forgotten to bring mine today. <laughs> I'll add to Rachel's shopping list and she needs to Sorry, get Sorry, emergency. Yeah, <laughs> we're out of chicken biscuits. I, I hope each of you have provisioned your own chicken biscuits so that you can feel I've completely got... immersed, albeit remote. Um, I will just oh, announce oh, oh, that I, uh, I feel very disturbed and I have trepidation in my soul right now. Mm. Been there a few times. Oh, 
that's that. So that's banana whiskey, is it? Yeah, it's interesting. So did anybody have any really weird dreams last night? Are we waking up or are we like... Is this is in the middle of the night. So All of you of find time. yourself stark awake and as you sort of lie there individually in whatever, you know, snuggling spoon position you might yeah. be with your fellow party member, yeah. you realise that by the sense of their breathing and the fidgeting that they're doing is that they must be awake as well, although they're perhaps feigning sleep. And so that's where you all find yourselves. Clank ain't just mutters but quite loudly. Except you don't really sleep, Clank. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do Warforge dream of electric sheep? Apparently <laughs> not. Being fractals in their minds? <laughs> so did anyone else just have a really messed up dream? Um, I've had worse, but I'd say it was a little bit different. I feel something is trying to reach out to us. Mm. Mm. What about you? You've been doing any reaching? Reaching around? <laughs> Is he spooning you? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna try, I've been holding onto this one for a little while because I um, like it, but I haven't had an opportunity to kind of do that. And reach around was the... <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> the reach around was the, the trigger point for that. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I, I too had a dream. And this is... Unusual, you see, for I do not dream, and usually my sleep is peaceful. This, despite what this dream was, this makes me think of our time here, and you know, it, 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 I suppose in this dream I was not able to rely on my friends, you, my allies, the only people in this place that I know that I can trust. And so I think, what can I do? If I cannot rely on my allies, I must fall back on my training and my understanding. And I meditated briefly <laughs> um, on this. And I feel since we have arrived here, we have not taken a moment to assess what what are, what are our goals? What do we wish to achieve? What are we attempting to do here? We have arrived and any person's whim, we have gone that way, this way, and we do not know the workings of this land. We do not know who to trust or who is the correct people to believe. We only know what most people fear, this strad, but has he yet shown us any ill will? You claim that the druid says that the that Strad says not to hurt us. And yet we are here with these people who seemingly oppose him. Maybe we picked the wrong side. Potentially. So what are you saying exactly? What I am saying is we should stop taking up these jobs as if we are mercenaries and perhaps sit and evaluate what is it that we desire. We desire to leave this place. If that is our ultimate goal, then what can we do to pursue this goal? Why are we being sent as errand boys on anyone's whim? So what do you propose? Derailing the DM's entire campaign. But no, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree. We're sent here to pick up wine. Indeed, that's not really you know, fitting with someone. With with no further information. Are you touched and thirsty? We can find. There's anyone. worse things to pick up. This is true. Yes. Speaking of them, we should probably take our fill when we leave this place. I think the druid broke one, one of the tanks. That was a lot of tanks. Uh, <laughs> um, mouth. Uh, yeah. Definitely one of the druids, not anybody in this team. No, that's right. <laughs> which which is incredible, I will say. Well, I'm afraid I'm forced to disagree with your notions on Strahd and his motivations. Um, as I said when we discussed this uh, previously, the uh, 
a, a dog will uh, fight another dog if he finds him playing with his toy. And won't, I won't, 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 won't want to destroy that toy himself. I make no. So I, um, I have no issues. Everything I've seen so far of what's happened to us just shows me that Strahd is playing with us, and he wants the pleasure of killing us for himself. And that's why we were spared, not because of any mercy on his part. And and this is I have no issues with this. This I, I mean no <laughs> I mean not to defence of what someone who lost? it would be I'm unwise to consider Jesus. someone who everyone Stop fears as thing. being <laughs> some sort of saviour. All I merely wish to address is perhaps there are answers which whilst as you say, the dog wishes to play with this toy. Perhaps we can use this to our advantage. And play with the dog. Play so with the dog if, if whilst we, it wishes to we play. we take this back to, you know, grassroots, you know, we, we, we wake up, we're in Barovia. We can't leave Barovia. So unless you want to live out the rest of your, you know, monthly days here in Barovia in the rain, not seeing the sun, then we need to find a way to get out of here. And in the absence of any solid leads, we're basically running around to people trying to find out how we can get out of this place. Because at the moment, it's only conjecture to say that Stride is the one that's keeping us here. What the you know, we don't have any actual proof of that. Bronze is looking at Did you hear that? Hmm. We don't have any proof of that, no, but we don't have any better conjectures of it off. Well, oh, true. I feel no one's given us a straight answer since we've been here. We try and find out more. There's our crow at the window. Do you look at the window? I suppose that's looking out the window. Yeah. 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 Give you know me a perception check. Yeah. So you know what to do. Um, there'll be... I mean, we can take a direct approach and go straight to 19? the car to bang on the door and go, Hey matey, can we go in? Can we go in? Yeah. 19. I think that's a great idea. He, he, he has given us an invitation. You do see a raven sitting at the window. I think. But then it's yeah. flashing. He's invited us to the castle. Yeah. You know how it's like. Mm. Did that so the first one that's away and then it's nothing. I feel like he has. I well, feel we'll like. Zip, no, we'll zip till the dinner. Well, I feel like when he basically half threatened us but then didn't, he said he'd welcome our. Patriot. Yeah. No, I honestly can't remember. A raven at the window. We uh, were at a campfire and he turned up. Who is this, sorry? Strahd. Mm, or am I imagining that. things? Well, we had a campfire once and Strahd turned up. Yeah, you, that is correct. Yes. Yeah. You have had a few pies, but yes, that is <laughs> Oh, yes, I still have one pie. <laughs> I have no recollection of him inviting us to go and visit his castle. No, Rip. Hmm. Wipe your memory. No, he hasn't oh, invited you to visit his castle. No. Oh. oh. It must have been the lady invited us to dinner. Yeah, I think it was invited Yeah, Lady Vupta has invited yeah. you to dinner. Yeah, it was there. Strahd has only simply turned up to um, welcome you to you know his realm, essentially. Yeah. See, well, um, he's evil failed threats. Yeah, and just sort of <clears> say <throat> a few things, but nothing substantial. Um, clearly, also, when you arrived, you saw a carriage and a figure um, mm. when you first washed ashore after the shipwreck. Um, and since then, yeah, I, there's only been one interaction with Strahd, which is when he appeared at the campfire. Um, and that when he was at the funeral. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that is that, yeah, that actually is true, it. but you didn't have an interaction with him. He yeah. appeared at the, muted, the funeral David. in yeah. the background. David, you're muted. I think he's talking to somebody in the room with it. Oh. Yeah, so I am I am at my dining room table at the moment. Oh, okay. um, so you're disciplining you know, children. It's the couch with the TV playing Shrek 2 at the moment. My son's right. in his bedroom, which is directly behind the laptop. Uh, oh. And I'm just asking him to put his Lego away, which is... He, he's asking if you guys can hear the Lego rattling around, and I said no, so... Um, there was a raven at the window not moments ago. This is the sign of the Keepers of the Feather, is it not? If I, it is, why are they coming as a raven when they are apparently with us? I agree, and leaving 
momentarily as if one noticed. Gron stands up because he's obviously butt naked when he's sleeping and stands in front of the crow like that. Obviously. <laughs> so so you're standing in front of the window? Yep, standing there stark naked, staring at the crow's hand. Is this in, what in, you want? In a flash of lightning, you see a horrific sight. One that Your sends... Your reflection. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my thunder, Ryan! <laughs> Yet beyond that, you see nothing but a shriveled little. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, your reflection. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in Barovia. It's like every yeah. You know, come on, let's be fair. <laughs> it's okay, Grond. Small men are still men. <laughs> <laughs> Might a... I remind you, he's also standing there, shredded, <laughs> <laughs> sub five. Body fat percentage standing there. So what you're saying is he looks like one of those um, carved marble statues from ancient Rome or Greece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tiny exactly little... there. In my culture. This is... <laughs> well... I must admit, Rachel, after being in Italy, has come back and like, ooh! <laughs> 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 uh, you're not so abnormal after all. <laughs> Given it is nice, there is a storm. Should we worry about this in the morning? Hey, do it in the morning. Go to bed. Crawl back into bed with cub. <laughs> do you not have your own bedroll? Yes. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Couple sit there and meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, what are you doing? You need to mute. Dave. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's cool. It's so the middle of the night now, right? Yeah, oh, it's indeterminate. Like, you have really no idea. All of you have awoke. But, should we open the Not that the there's screen? no sort of gleaming digital clock or, you know, watch. So, all you can tell is it is the middle of the night. You're not sure at what particular part. Should we open the window for this rain? Yeah, go on. Yeah. It's, it's raining. Small yeah. touch. You're the rain inside. All right, but I, I, I'm going to say that if it annoys us, Eldritch Blast is ready. Good. You heard my thoughts before. I have no issues with. I have no one else here to trust aside from you. So if this is your Thoughts, then I agree. Okay. A couple open the window slightly. The thunderstorm has abated, and now there is just a steady rain. The window is open. You feel a, a cool air, not a chill, but a cool air begin to enter the room that you're in. Couple just call out. Do you wish to speak? Hoping that someone out there will hear. <laughs> <laughs> I need a high DM string. <laughs> a raven flies in and suddenly transforms itself into a bigger raven. A bigger raven. Standing quite tall and proud, it sort of gazes around the room in a bird-like manner, looking from one eye to the next. Ah, Min, this is my friend from the pub. Hey, Cosrock. Yeah, this is our friend from the pub. How you doing, chap? Can I do a perception that this is our friend from the pub? <laughs> <laughs> You, you certainly, you actually certainly can. <laughs> Just give me two seconds. Like I said, I'm a bit slower tonight because I'm one entire device down, which when I think about it, is, it sounds really sad. Um, <laughs> first world problem. <laughs> honestly, if this guy's our friend from the pub, we can trust him. He gave us somewhere to sleep. Mm. And didn't ask anything. 
We already paid that room. We did. That's he right. let us in though. Yeah, he could have not. Mm. You didn't just pay for the room, you more just bought the pub, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you spent a lot. And they still didn't <laughs> feed me dinner. <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh yeah, when I came back and woke them up. And yeah, <laughs> yeah you, they were pissed off, but they yeah. gave you food. <laughs> Sorry, can you just, sorry, yeah, so can you just repeat, sorry, what you said, what you asked? I'd like to do a perception check to see if this is the one. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, okay, what you get, pub. yeah. Well, that's not good. That would be a 10. It looks like a rather large raven, yet completely disproportionate and has mannerisms which remind you of a person. So you're saying that like this generic bird looks like some other bird you know. In bird culture this is known as racism. Yeah. <laughs> now that's that's rem reminds me of when I was younger and would wake up in the morning. But anyway that's a completely <laughs> different story. Um, I, uh, I turn to him and I say, do you remember us? <laughs> uh, we need Grom to run into the yeah. bush, don't we? Grom. Hey, are you hearing the raven noise? Is that making it onto the... Let me just try it. No, that's not making it, is it? So he's pressing sound effects of ravens every now and again. Right, Grom's gonna go. I can hear, I can hear rain and thunder through the web coin. You'll need to turn off the noise suppression on Discord, otherwise it's just gonna filter all that stuff out. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter, but I mean, Nick, if you wanna, or Rogan, if you guys wanna do that, just to see how that goes for the guys, whoever's a Discord guru. Um, um, yeah, I'm gonna go start performing my ten minute ritual in the corner. For what? Sorry. Uh, speak with animals. Okay. <clears throat> Is, is, is this thing actually an animal or is it a person? Well, it's speaking like it's an animal. Person-like. It, it, I've placed a Were Raven Mini down, and so um, it, 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 it's humanoid-shaped, it has wings, it has a beak, and at this particular point it speaks in common. In common? Oh. And it says... Accurate. My family, thank you. You I... must help recover. That is what is lost. Are you the other son? <gasps> Raven noise. <laughs> Not sure if you heard it. Um, and with that, it turns and leaps towards the window and turns into a raven and flies off. Do you know I should have shot him? <laughs> and Bron's a bit high strung now because he doesn't get to finish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how, how long does that last? <laughs> Is it just two hours or something? No idea. It lasts like an hour. Yeah, just... I think it's an hour. Um, so he's just going to go back to bed. Because it seems he's kind of, yeah. not helpful that why would he remain a raven speaking in broken common? What kind of person turned into a raven into a raven? That is definitely the second son. So why this... would he turn up like that and simply state help by family and then run off? Or was he that could... Adrian that just turned no, Adrian. Adrian took off to do his own thing. Yeah. Adrian's his own ritual. Yeah, he's dead to me. Mm. Yeah. I feel the second son is not um, as much of a betrayer as we've been told. Oh, he's he was perhaps perhaps an pump, wasn't he? Yeah. So, so Adrian Markatov is the firstborn. The second son is Erwin. Erwin, who's at the Blue Water Inn in Velaki. Which and the youngest before. son is Elvia uh, okay. at the top. Just the youngest son I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Because why assist with stealing? I'd normally be making notes of those names, but um, not while I'm remote. <laughs> Hmm, this does not sit right with me that someone would come in the middle of the night after we have been awoken from strange dreams to seek aid but not reveal themselves and speak in broken comment. I will abide by whatever the wishes are of everyone else, but I do not feel comfortable with this. Do you think this is another I'm, game? I'm with the monk. I am not for any, I simply wish to seek our own departure from this place. I don't trust I am, these guys. No, neither do I. Who, why I'm would you... I'm all for that, but I still haven't heard a plan for what that is. The only other leads that, as far as... Not that I believe in fates and prophecies. However, this seems to be the only currency in this place that holds any value. Prophecies. Sayings of we are the chosen ones. What of these <clears throat> sayings or prophecies that the Valaki witch showed us? Should we not be attempting to track this down rather than bending to well, the whim of... Remind you that the only person that's made any sense of those ramblings was the lady from the Blue Water Inn who is, we think, a member of the Keepers of the Feather. Mm. Mm. Maybe we should ask the... A disorganised bunch, of these the Keepers of the Feather. Mm. Maybe we should the ask the lady from the tower. The only one that shed any light on you. Well, I will... I, mean, as a, I thought as a thank you, we then went and did what she asked, which was to help find out what on earth had happened to the wine. Yeah. Which, as far as I can tell, from what we've been told, is the only thing keeping you know, people <laughs> going mad with depression. Yeah, this is true. Well, It I seems will. like, you know, and, unless we're thoroughly compassionless, it behooves us to try and fix that, because otherwise everyone here is just going to want to kill themselves. This is yes, that truth. Yeah. Well, I will follow wherever for now, as it suits me. But I will take a step back and go and um, do my own little ritual in the corner right now. Down the yeah. bronze corner. So I'm doing identify. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing that on the giant needle. Mmm. Haven't I already given you its properties? You've given me hints at the properties. Do you, you want a recap of what Danica tried to tell us about the cards? Um. Yeah. It, you put it in the um, notes. It's in the plan notes, but I, don't, I can read them out to save you having to look them up. Oh, yeah. So. I'm going back to the needle while you guys do that because yeah. that's like ages ago and I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. certain I gave you that. Because you, you gave me two things that it can do, but then you said... Then I don't think you cast more a spell sword. last time. No. You just investigated it. You didn't cast the spell. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Go on, Brian. Yeah. So the first card uh, was referring to um, history, um, which we have theorised... <laughs> will yeah. lead us oh. to some information about Strahd's origins. Mm. Maybe how he became who he is today, and maybe if we're lucky, some hints on how to defeat him. Um, the location that was referenced in it was behind Amber Doors. And That's we asked Danica the info you pretty much get. Yeah. The Amber Temple, mm. south of Valaki, mm. but also near Mount Gakis. Yeah. It was it's permanent. Yeah. South, isn't it? yeah. Okay, I'll... Oh. For the second card, we will talk about the Holy Temple. Yeah. Um, we again assume it's something which Strahd particularly fears, possibly is weakened by. Um, the location referred to in that was a sleeping prince, a servant of light, and a brother of darkness. We thought that that was talking about Strahd's brother. Um, and Danica told us that Strahd's brother was called Sergei and that his tomb is in the castle. 
So I put that as, let's do that last, because I don't <laughs> think we want to go to the castle yet. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, oh wait, sorry, I'm ritualing. In, then we've got the third card, which was talking about a magical weapon, a sword of sunlight. Again, presumably something that will help us get rid of Strahd. Um, it's and to do, what about, no idea on the location. We needed to find a pool blessed by the light of the white sun. Uh, Danica wasn't sure about this one, but thought it might be referring to a body of water located near Kresik, west of Valaki. Mm. Um, then there was the one about somebody who will help us greatly in the battle against darkness. Um, so this is some ally that we have not met yet. It mentioned the child, and there was some talk of it being a, the missing kid of the woman in the village with the Blinsky toy, but that doesn't feel right by it. And we were told it was a Vistar the child, and I don't think that the woman in, uh, the, in Barovia was a Vistar, so I, I think that's someone we've not met yet. Uh, but we've got no, no idea where to search for them. Are we um, not already and... west of Balaki? We're not west. Sorry? We're west of Balaki at the moment, aren't we? Oh, well, maybe we should pick out that pole. Yeah, after the winery. Right? Yeah. Sorry, carry on, Brian. The last, the last card was about, I think, where we'll find Strahd, which is, I don't know, somewhere in his castle, I'm guessing. Yeah. That basically told us that he's hanging up there and he's, he's waiting. Mm. So these, these, Wine folk want us to go and collect this gem from the druids, is that right? From somewhere. But well, I think, uh, is it still the middle of the night? Or have we, like, all... It's still the middle of the night, you guys are still having this conversation. And well, just yeah, on a technicality, to... Brian, um, everything you've said, um, just for players, everything you've said is correct. You're, you're not mistaken in any of those interpretations of your your version of the interpretation that stacks up yeah mm -hmm. um, i mean clan's vote and then is to not that he needs it but to finish sleeping and then have a chat with the family in the morning about the scroll that we found mm. which does seem to mention uh something that was stolen um and where it might be found true the gems yes so right. i think the standing stones where the spirits mourn under the hill's shadow, the new guardian is sworn. Blood of the vine to the earth it must return. Only then will the stolen gift again burn. Indeed. That just sounds... That seems like, that seems like a partial clue, at least, to where uh, one of these gems is. It does, but it also sounds like they're taking back what was theirs. Perhaps, rather than violence, negotiation, or some kind of discussion, as was... And I suggest this on two fronts, partially because, well, you saw how easy and defeated we were. We who can hand our to us. Yes, there is, there is no way for us to actually defeat these people currently, so oh. why, why bring the stick when they have a larger one? Yeah, and, and don't forget in the scroll there was also like a, a bit of a map, mm, and I, yeah. I think I showed you on the actual map where that point lay yeah. well, so there's actually a, there's a third approach so there's the walk in and talk to them about it approach or the fight them approach again striking in the fight approach off the list the third approach is send our thief in nick it and like run away <laughs> could the second and third approach not be combined a distraction perhaps by negotiation i uh I can very greatly assist if we are, me and the thief were just simply to take it. Very well, if this is, if you, all, all I suggest is perhaps a, my thoughts are we will be, it will be known that we will be the ones to take it, yes? So if we are to cause a distraction, perhaps appear on the front of negotiation and you do your work. Perhaps it will um, provide more cover, as opposed I'm, I'm to... I'm pessimistic that that will work. Mm. Uh, we were attacked on site when we came to the vineyard. 
Um, the judge didn't wait to have a conversation with us at all. Why do you imagine that they would wait a second time? I did kind of murder one of their um, friends as they tried to leave too, so they're probably not going to be all happy with me. All valid, all valid points. So basically, the whole negotiating thing gets a thumbs down from the bank. I think we should just run in here and I um, put a axe firmly into his forehead. See, I really like this idea that, that Grom is talking about here. Mm. Do you actually own an axe? Um, I've got one left. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I'll make one. Well, if that is your plan, we shall need rest for tonight. We shall. And clock goes back to sleep. Yeah. Can you all give me though. quickly constitution saving throws, please? That is a... Jesus, an eight. Eight? Eight. You do not rest, therefore you do not long rest. Um, that's right. You long rest. Twenty-one. You long rest. David? <laughs> do I short rest? Sorry, what yes. am I rolling? Oh, yeah, yeah. Constitution saving throw, please. Yeah, sure. And is Wisdom someone there. tracking D&D Beyond for yeah. me? Constitution. Constitution, sorry, yep. Yeah. 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 And Brian, I can't see what your dice... He got 15. 15. 15. I've, got a, I've got a 13. So 15 in total. Yeah. Aaron got 15 total. Yeah, so you long rest. At this point, Cosron is unable to return to sleep with things on his mind. Did you, was it five, the first five D20s? Yes. At disadvantage? Did oh, you? wait, so yeah, that was a disadvantage roll too. Do you want me to roll again? I mean, if you fail, you, there's only like, you can only like critically fail. I know, but it's... Yeah, You're true. spending one of it. So it would have been a three, so yeah, four. So I definitely yeah. didn't sleep. So that's one, yep. okay. Um, David, what did you get? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. You long rest as well. And those of you who have long rested, um, obviously conduct a long rest, um, and also level up. Another one? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you level five that you got. Uh, well, most you most of things. you, most of you got those of you who know that you need to level up differently can <laughs> do so as well. Is banana monkey? Uh, banana monkey. On the other campaign it's that on the what, sorry? On the copy of your character in the other campaign I created. For you. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, that one. That one. <laughs> Hang on, let me just. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise all you guys could see. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we were watching like Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. <laughs> so it's like copy character invite <laughs> to a new campaign and That's clear, actually. we'll That's run good. we'll run off those stats. I mean, you know, not stupid. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um Well I slipped like a baby. Now I need a drink. This is the moment. I know. Yeah, there's one downstairs. Exactly. I, I feel like we should go have a look. Right, I'm, I'm going to head You're downstairs. awaken in the guest room feeling slightly more refreshed, but still wary of the dangers that might lurk in this winery. You hear some clanking and cluttering from the room to your, well, from Jesse, from your perspective, to the right towards me. This one? Yeah. Which, uh, last night I think you occupied, the, which is the sort of kitchen, yeah. you know, main area. You begin to hear some sort of clanking and clunking. Not um, guilty. <laughs> I'm gonna just quite rapidly proceed into that room because that's where the food was last time. So, yeah, I'll follow along. I'm proceeding to try and get to the food as quick as I can by going out the door. Oh, it is locked. Oh, I'm going to just get out on my iPad. So you should be able to unlock the door. Like, oh, actually, sorry. I'll unlock the door for you. Can I unlock the door? 
Yeah. yeah, hang on. You wanna do a quick slide of hand? Sorry, wait, I'm not. Yeah. Hang on, no, wait. <laughs> there we go. You should be able to get out now. Yeah. Can you turn the noise suppression back on again? Because the music just keeps cutting in and out and it's disturbing your voices, sorry. <laughs> I can turn the music down a little bit too. There we go. Thank you. Surprisingly, it stopped raining this morning. I see the patter on the roof has receded. And there is a brighter light outside your window as you make your way into the next room. You see sitting around the table already uh, essentially eating, you see Elvia, the uh, youngest to the top left. You see Stefani, you see Claudie, and you see Adrian. Thanks for your help, Adrian. Tick. Yeah. <laughs> the door opens and Darvian enters the room from his master bedroom and takes his seat at the top of the table. I'm just going to be staring daggers at Adrian. He says, uh, thank you so much for your actions uh, on the eve of yesterday. Did you hear me, Adrian? Are you talking to Adrian? Yep. Yeah. Are you in the room? Yeah, I said when um, oh, Gron went in, in, I followed him. Okay. Um, So, Darvian sort of goes, oh, I was speaking, but please progress. Yeah. Did you hear me, Adrian? We called out for your help. Adrian looks at him, look, sorry, looks at you. Mm -hmm. um, he, he goes like this, in a start, and he shakes his head, and he brings his arms up like this. He says, what, what, what do you mean? Oh, I yelled quite loud, and um, I know you were there, so did you hear me yell? I do not know what you speak. Did you have nightmares? Yesterday, when uh, we were here liberating your winery. My father's winery. He yes. defers to his father. It's all right. We called for your assistance and um, you just, you weren't, you weren't there to be found. So where were you? Not everyone is prepared for battle, Adrian. I agree, I did not hear your call for assistance. You, you were marvellous in your securing of our home and uh, the vanquishing of those creatures summoned by that, that, that collection of hippie <laughs> tree leaf smoking smelly mob that lives on the hill down beyond. <laughs> I am sure they came to steal, if not indeed steal, the last gem. Father, what say you? And then Darvian sort of looks, he goes, mm. Your brother was the first to take a gem. That wretched thing in the swamp, the second. And those awfully smelly <laughs> highly offensive collection of encamped things on the hill beyond surely what could they do with it and he turns to you and he goes my new friends I am indeed indebted to you to 
saving my family home that has served Barovia for generations in the provision of wine. And yet, as discussed last night, we are in a predicament for the grapes will wither on their vines without the protective ward of their gems. It is true that champ the champagne that I produced for so long has for now some years been unable to be produced. Red Dragon's Crush only some months ago lost and I believe to the scarecrows and the swamp woman that lives below us and he sort of turns to the east and then he says and now them those of Yester Hill what do they seek of for surely everyone in Barovia knows that the supply of my goods is essential not only to him but to those that serve him here. How long have you been doing this, Adrian? All my life. Now my father and my father before him have taken care of this winery. There's a lot of people who piss off in that amount of time. I do not understand what you say. Why are there so many different factions taking these gems from you? I do not know. It is. Can I do a perception to see if he's lying? If yeah, he's... sure, absolutely. Because he's. Fucking. Yeah, I'm not buying half of this. So. 15 plus 3, 18. Perception. Alright, come with me. I shall meet you <laughs> on the other side. I reckon they're the druid's gems. Has he mentioned a swamp woman before? Yes, um, Baba Yaga. Not Baba Yaga, but something like the that. The hags. The hags, yeah. Baba Lassar, some, something like that, yeah. Uh, he said he said swamp woman, yeah. singular. Yeah, just Baba Lassar Lass something. I can't remember what her name was, but yeah. So not, not the hags, but no. somebody else. No, and she's got a lot of scarecrows and stuff, apparently. I thought he'd mentioned last time, he, it might have just been like a turn of phrase, but I thought he mentioned like some kind of like hag or something. He um, mentioned the bone grinder, but it didn't seem like he was tying them to... I still don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. Um... So Darvian was just looking at each of his family members and he says, he comes back to, are you sure? Druids never travel alone. Was there another one? Yes. Yeah, yes, there was. Where was that? Um, came from upstairs. And did you vanquish it? After a fashion, yes. I see. Did you search it? Yes. And any sign of my gem? No gem. Now. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. No, no, it's sweet. Well, it's quite warm in here. On oh, is it? See if they have. What Oh, you don't have that anymore. It's fine. Bye. <laughs> it's quite warm. You need to turn the heater outside off. Or maybe not set it to thirty degrees. No, outside. I sent you a message. The heater heater. The heater outside on the patio. <laughs> Good night. Oh, we'll leave it running. We'll sort of leave it out there. So it's only 15 minutes of gas burning. Um, <laughs> now you keep saying your gem. Where did these gems come from? Now my family's gem and I am the patriarch of this family. But what do you I know beseech you. Are there... Any other druids that you saw during the evening that perhaps could have offed with the gem? For it was freshly dug when I came to the field last night, whilst you were in battle. Um, just real quick, is there food on the table? I just want to know how 
gauge how angry Gron's getting. Um, so this particular point, um, Stefani is bringing um, bowls of, um, you know, some sort of grain. Okay. With, you know, so he's milk or water or something. <laughs> something in between and she's placing them down. Yeah. 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 Given that we uh, obviously cleared them out, do you have any wine here? Well, of course, I should hope. The vats, the vats should be full. I have a, I have a number of barrels ready to ship. But as you can imagine, things have been torrid here, and uh, I have uh, not dispatched them quite deliberately, I might say. Well, I suggest you get onto it fast because you need to send those to Valaki. Is there a priority for? Sending the wine or returning the gems? Well, I think we should achieve both. We don't need to deliver wine, do we? we? Would two, uh, this is what we were asked of us back from Balaki. Would it not be. No, no we weren't. We were, we were asked, asked to figure out what happens to the wine. <coughs> we were what not asked lot. to deliver okay. any. Mm. I thought we were asked to, they if we could to, bring them back I and bring back mean, wine. I think they said, like, if they can, we can restart supply. Mm. Sort of thing. I don't think they specifically I, 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 I got no no indication that we were to deliver it personally. No. no. So I feel like we could carry on to. Yeah, they can they can deliver it. Mm. I will be able because to they, send they, my they, younger son. I hear what you say, and I guess in a manner I have achieved what I set out to do, and that is to get the attention of my. Second son, the betrayer, and then suddenly um, Adrian, father, sort of cuts in and just sort of father when he says, "My second son, the betrayer." Um, Darbian raises a hand. Elvira, you shall set out today and take escort. And return the wine. The woman who sought shelter. The one that travelled with you. Yeah, where is she? She is not to be disturbed, for she has had a restless night. Yeah, well, it's probably it's been restless day and night gems. Elvia. When she is awakened and refreshed and nourished. Go with her to Irwin and deliver wine so that uh, this inconvenience is not played out above the needs of my family. Hmm. You know what? I want to go and talk to her now. Where is she? She is resting. Slowly puts his spoon down. He stands up. He bangs on him. Where is she? Okay, give me an intimidation check. <laughs> You're dying for that, were you? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah, isn't that good? Um, 12. Davian sort of looks a little taken back. This is my family home. Sit yourself down and do not speak ill. We have offered you a roof and a feast. The only reason you whilst, have this roof now is because of us. Whilst that might be true, you have done what you have done. And I am the master of this home. And thou shall not speak to me or my family as a visitor to my guest, uh, as a guest and visitor. To my home. Sit yourself back down, good sir. Calmness from both parties. Indeed. Listen to your wise you friend. Seek our assistance. Do not threaten us. I am not threatening you. You are threatening me. Ron sits back down, and as he's finished his breakfast, he leans over and just grabs the bowl from the youngest son and starts eating his breakfast too. Okay, Elvia looks a little bit shocked at that, but he like. <laughs> 
not fucking getting involved in this. <laughs> um, Darvian looks at you and squints at you and he says, I see you are a worthy warrior and the warrior spirit in you is unbridled. Yes, your companion who travelled here with you was of great assistance during the night. She did not, I didn't see her out there fighting twigs and druids. Did she you? assisted me in locating the gem and protected me, albeit we were not attacked. Yet her sword was ready and her hand was steady. She assisted you in searching for the gem which you did not find. This is true. And now she is not to be disturbed. Why would you need assistance if you knew where the gem was? Perhaps. Perhaps, and playing Asmodeus' as advocate. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, as we have only not just known this person less than a day, they might have the gem. Where are they located? Where are they sleeping? She is there! And he points to his bedroom door. Ooh, his own bedroom. Correct. Ooh. And she is there. Well, it's shut. <laughs> oh, I'm asking him. Right. She was there when you left? Indeed, she was. And uh, Stefani, not... Stefani's giving him a fucking, like, what the fuck look. And he turns to her and he says, It is not what you think. She slept on the floor, at the foot of my bed. Like a dog. Indeed, like a dog. Yet one that has demonstrated loyalty, patience and civility to me and my family this eve and this morn. Unlike some, and he gives you a bit of a, a look, he says, Enough of this, Elvia. This morning you shall go with the Esmeralda and take the wine to Irvin and Valaki. Restore distribution. After breakfast, I shall inspect what is left and what has been damaged. And as for you, I implore you, assist me in finding at least one gem so some production can be resumed. And if you do not wish to do this, then be on your way, for my hospitality shall cease at mid-morn. If, however, you decide that you shall assist, either be going to the east to the tattered woman that has taunted us for years, or to those mischievous, untrustworthy tree folk to the, to the west, or sorry, to the south. At Yester Hill. And gosh knows what evil they intend for the power that resides in our gems. But a gem I must have, at least one, if not all, should be returned to bring balance to this land. Alright, I think it wasn't going to happen. We need to talk pay out. Cub wants to make contact with, eye contact with Eren, and then just kind of like, slowly like, you know, kind of like tap his head, and then put his hand on Clank in front of him, and, and, um, LV, you mean? LV? No, uh, look at Eren. Oh. So, David, David, sorry. Yep, yep. David, Cub is yes. looking at you, here. doing <laughs> slow, like, tap on the head, and then put his hand on Clank, as well. And um, just kind of give like a little pat type of like reassuringly looking type of thing. And then kind of like return to kind of normal. Alright, um, I, I suppose I'll, I'll take the hint on that and I'll, um, I'll do psychic whispers. <laughs> we're going to say psychic blades. <laughs> psychic whispers between Clank, Cub and myself. Okay. Um, I, I don't need to roll for that, it's just an effect. No, oh, uh, yeah, just yeah, the correct. duration, right. isn't it? The roll? The duration? But, uh, no um, let me see. 
Cool, hang on, let's... let's... Uh, actions? Oh, let's take me. Hello? For a number of... Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, Sorry, what's that? Thing? A roll of uh, D8. What was it? Oh, let's see if I want... And for a number of... I was equal to the number of rolls. Okay. okay. So I roll... Well, it's the only power off for each level, unless you don't expend the sonic energy diameter. Yeah. Three. Okay, three hours. Nick's just gone out on the phone, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the text. Okay, so Nick. No idea. <laughs> Nick, I'll, I'll <laughs> send to you. Um, what's up? Uh, he's just out on the phone at the moment, but. Yeah, I think it could oh, be okay. could be pizza arriving, so we might be having a break. Brian, were we sending okay. pizza down to you or? No, I've got my own. Okay. Hi, cool. Hi, Nick. All right. Well, if you can put one aside for me, yeah, and I'll um, I'll have it when I come over to you guys a little bit later. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Um. Okay, so Darvian continues despite this interaction mm. that you guys might be doing, and we can come back to the psychic blades. Yeah. Um, he's finished his uh, bowl of, you know, essentially sort of a very grey porridge. Slop. Grains with a sort of mix of potentially milk, something watery, maybe it's something in between, you're not 100% sure, but, you know, it's taste as bland um, as you have become um, accustomed to in this land. Darvian stands and he says, Elvir, you shall leave by mid-morning. I shall leave you to your deliberations. Should you wish to assist in the recovery of at least one gem to bring some light to these lands, then I shall ever be grateful. Um, and believe me, I am able to reward you all. Oh, okay. And with that, the pizza has arrived. We'll <laughs> pause there. I'll pause the video. I think we're good to go. Is there anything that I missed when I ran out for pizza? Um, no. Besides... No, just Darvian. Darvian about that hole. You guys are right. stealing his gems. But you guys started your... Um, so, the oh, mental okay. message that I'm sending you is... Should we be pushing for, um, I, forget, I forget her name, whatever, whatever, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, should we be pushing to see her? You, you the relay thing, the message to Clank as well. Can I just say, as, as that is that's occurring, in, the bedroom mentally. door opens and you see Esmeralda just through the, uh, just through the door frame. Can I do a perception check if she's had a rough night? <sighs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Take a big, deep breath. That's uh, 18. She's had a rough night, but she seems otherwise composed. And she uh, she goes, uh, Elvir, I believe we are traveling together later this morn. Forgive me while I make preparations. Are you all okay? And she looks to all of you. I'm going to say, uh, so much for being a great warrior. Could have used you last night. Where did you end up? If you do not recall, you asked me to remain with the Matakots, which is what I did. And I escorted the good Sir Darvian into one of his fields in the midst of the battle, a great risk to both our lives. And we discovered another great treachery. Hmm. Darvian turns and he goes, Indeed, my good lady. And you see a sparkle in his eye. And he says, you shall travel with my younger son today. I ask all of you, give due consideration to what lie before you. Help us restore balance here to this land where the souls are lost and the souls are hopeless. And with that, he sort of moves um, towards the... Uh, towards the, the master bedroom and he disappears beyond your view um, 
and he sort of brushes up against uh, Esmeralda and she sort of moves out of the way. And then she reoccupies the door frame and says, uh, I must tend to my morning routine. I am glad to see that you all have survived the night. For what I heard, it must have been horrific upon you all. <clears throat> Looking over to see if anyone else's breakfast has still got food in it. <laughs> Do you know much of these druids? I have heard of the druids. And I have heard indeed that uh, a ritual is nigh. Perhaps that is why they have come and taken the gem. What, what kind of ritual? Elvia speaks up. Indeed, I have also heard in passing of a also ritual coming from those that live in okay. Yester Hill. I have toured talk of something called the Winter Splinter. Winter Splinter? Indeed. What is that? I do not know what this is. Esmeralda, sort of, her expression becomes sterner and she goes, It's not for us to concern ourselves with. If anything, the main thing here is recovering the gem. Uh, I shall accompany. How Olivia. does this not concern us? You want us to go and get a gem and there's a winter splinter. What do you know of the winter splinter? Tell, yes, the most more. Who are you asking that to, Esmeralda? Yes. The more information we have, the easier for our task. Um, she sort of quickly, she's a little taken back, and she goes, Oh, the, I have heard, I have heard rumours that uh, the time is coming. I heard this in Velaki. Uh, from Vistani. the Vistani, <laughs> that would sneak in. And of course, they are my kin. And they told me that the druids are preparing for the coming of the winter splinter. I do not know other than that. Well, that's fair. I don't know anything. <laughs> well, I don't know anything more about Elvia. I shall uh, uh, attend to uh, my morning needs and then I shall meet you in the uh, stables and we shall prepare some uh, for our transit back to Velaki. Thank you, all of you. It has been a pleasure to meet you, albeit briefly. Mm. I do recognize that you're great warriors, but uh, should I find my master in Velaki, as you say he is there, I shall tell him not of your destruction of his town. I give you this because you have come in a time of need and I feel your purpose here is beyond what my mere eyes perceive. And with that she sort of closes the door and you hear a little giggle and that's it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at this point, I prefer the company of the druids. Stefani says, if that is the case, then I best bid you farewell this morn. For I do fear that uh, my brother and the uh, woman who seems to have taking my father's fancy and you can tell that uh, sorry my stepfather's uh, fancy and you can sort of see that she's like got that chick thing where there's another chick in the house <laughs> you know oh. <laughs> um, and um, she yeah sort of spits the words out a little bit and she goes uh, what else can you give us for our journey sure we must have uh, some supplies we can take Doing the story for you? Indeed, we can provide you with some provisions and, of course, some wine from the bats. Would you, uh, shall we uh, head there forthwith after breakfast? And she begins to pick the bowls up and Maybe place them on here. the counter. Yeah, let's do it. Take me to the wine. Sorry, Duncan, what's the address of the encounter? 192-168-0249. 
one nine. Colin Eddie Eddie. Um, correct me if it just remind me. One nine two. Have we had any wine, or have we only yes. always been told that there is no wine? Um, well, I mean, I think I left it but up after I spilled all over the ground. But like, like we've not, Brian. You don't remember if we've had any wine at all. We've been offered it once when we were originally in the village of Barovia, but nobody wanted to drink it because we just got out of the uh, situation with the um, moon pies and we were suspicious of everything. Mm. <laughs> Trump wants to mess me. Uh, so, um, Stefani and uh, Adrian, her husband, um, escort you down to the vats. And you're now downstairs. You see... Telepathically. Um, Do we trust drinking this wine? Don't see why you wouldn't. To be honest, like they ship all across Barovia. Yes, but the people of Barovia are not... Oh, They're not dead. Yes, but the soul and soulless and we do not know if this has some these these grapes are produced by some magical means. This is my only concern. Well, so are Clank's dingleberries. And what happens with them? Well they shrivel oh, you're, you're, you're not hearing this, this is telepathic. Oh, okay. Um Very well. Okay. I shall not my, partake. My 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 honest opinion is for the purposes of saving face, we can accept their generosity, but you don't have to invite them. Very well. So take it, hold on to it. You could probably use it as a bartering tool if need be, but if, if for whatever reason you don't trust it, don't drink it. Very well. Yeah. Oh, these glasses are so weird. <laughs> So Alvia and um, Stefani, sorry, Adrian, sorry, not Alvia, uh, Adrian and Stefani, so husband and wife, have escorted you down to essentially where the vats are. Um, you can see the remnants of your battle, some scorch marks, some blood, still remaining on the floor. Still That's blind. precisely where most of you are standing. Um, it is sticky underfoot. Um, <clears throat> you see Adrian move to the uh, barrel here and he goes oh dear and you can see that the barrel is fractured and empty and he sort of looks into it and he turns to his wife and then he moves to the next barrel. And in the barrel is uh, two taps, essentially. One rather large one, and a much smaller one to the right. You see him begin to turn the one on the right a little, and you see a bit of wine come out, drip, 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 drip. And he turns it a little bit more, and it flows, and then he shuts it off. And he says, um, this is good. And then he moves to pass you all. Please interject at any point. He goes to the next and repeats that process. So which wines are these in these barrels? Are... And then he goes to the last. The only wine we saw spilt was the first barrel. In fact. It's all just wine, isn't it? Come on, as I'm holding up my flask. Stefani <clears throat> moves to the wall, grabs a flask, much like one of those empty ones on the shelf, and brings it over. And then she opens the larger tap and quite quickly <clears throat> is filled. She shuts it off and she places a cork stopper on the top and she places it at her feet. She returns back to the wall, collects another, and repeats the process. Adrian <coughs> goes to the wall and collects, collects a glass. 
like a wine glass. He goes to the same barrel and he pours a glass full. He swishes it. And he swishes. Someone spent a lot of time with vineyards. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did go for the nose a little. <laughs> the family I was going to say, like the two taps. Oh, no, 764. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so <laughs> detecting hints of bergamot and um, chocolate. No, <laughs> Burgermaster. <laughs> it's a Burgermaster. Um, <laughs> and he takes a swig and he places it down. And, goes, and then he pours the rest onto the ground. How do you waste this wine? I am a wine maker. You, yes, but you, you pour more than you require for a sip. Yes. You did not have this cough before. <clears throat> Clank, he needs <clears throat> medical attention. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm gonna see what I can do to. Um, I don't really hang on. What do I have? Clank's just waiting to watch the human yeah. die. Yeah. Can Clank hear us? Can you hear us, Brian? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, he's I'm just not quite sure what's going on. He's just ignoring <laughs> the dying person. Um, old man, he drank the wine. Is now coughing. The dying person. How administers this? Aaron took a drink of the wine and is now coughing away. I didn't drink the wine. As he's coughing and spluttering, you unflask uh, this yeah. vial. Okay. And he falls to one knee and he, he's like, he, you see a complete distress on his face. And you start to see some of his veins become prominent on his face. Blue, a dark blue against the pale white. <laughs> he takes the flask. <sighs> And he falls to another knee, and then he begins to, his breathing becomes a little slower and more controlled. How would you give him? And he stands, and he goes, so yeah. Stefani, do not pass the flask. Well, it has been spoiled by them. You've wasted that on him? Oh, yes. I uh, walk up to the barrel and I start to conduct a ritual <laughs> of purify food and drink on said barrel. <laughs> Eleven minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in that time, is there anything else you want to do while this ritual is occurring? Um, Stefani takes her husband um, away for a couple of minutes um, in in past the corridor um, and returns with him, you know, sort of a little sweating a little. You can see that he's been sweating, but he seems much more composed. Um, he is standing here. What do you want to do with those two bottles Cosron. of uh, poisoned wine? Cosron is there. Um, Cub, there what are you doing during this process? You've okay. given your potion. Mm. I suppose it covers this kind of deep in thought about um, what else is there untouched in this. We should do some kind of search of this winery to ensure that any other fouling or perhaps temper, uh, uh, not tempering, um, Tampering. tampering tampering with any of the facility or products has occurred quake any thoughts yeah reasonable <laughs> thanks for input clank <laughs> <laughs> i after you've i want to taste the wine that you've purified okay we'll come to you so there's one action it's clank a, yeah, so Obviously, um, Aaron's asked whether you're doing anything. Is there any actions or anything you want to do during the next 10 minutes? Brian? I'm 
don't think of anything. Like. I was a bit concerned that the pause was an audio related problem, but clearly it's a process clank CPU processing error. So yeah. that's all right. It's a delay. It's like, go sub 17. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Open the uh, <laughs> so, vroom, CPUs. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> no issues. Um, so oh, you're busy. I'm busy. Aaron, anything you want to do? Um, I want to just have a look around the the barrels to see if there's, I don't know, if anything that was left behind after okay. the shovel. Give me an investigation. Uh, investigation. Nineteen. Um, with me. Well, I'll meet you in my den. While they're out of the room, I think I've missed something here. Why are we standing around watching people taste wine? Uh, they were getting us wine, he tasted it, and then he started dying. So it's clearly poison wine, and I'm sitting there doing my ritual on the wine to make it purified. Because they want us, at the end of the day, they want us, our goal was to send, get wine, restart its supply, and we can't exactly send poisoned wine. I understand that. I'm just wondering why we're standing there with them. You're watching why you're... Because we came down to check out the wine. Again, why? <laughs> because <laughs> because Duncan did a hand wave and we went downstairs. Yeah, we followed. Uh, okay, that's what I've missed. That's why I've been utterly confused as to what we're doing. Hang on, I did not do a hand wave. <laughs> what do you no, mean? No, you no, guys no. said you went down to check the wine. Yeah. yeah. I did not we make followed. that. Up. We followed. Red wine, stop blaming it on Duncan. Why okay. are we checking the wine? Because Jesse said we follow. I didn't say we follow. Well, <laughs> I, you I, I, said I follow. I follow. Okay. I follow. I well, don't control the very well. <laughs> I can I see my views says. going up on Hang this on. YouTube clip <laughs> as you all go back to see who Sucking fucking said Nick. what. You, you, Nick. Yeah. Um, Come. Yeah. <laughs> Come. While I was investigating one around, I glass. found Sorry. four one shattered yeah, of course, vials of yeah. something that has some green kind of residue in it. Now, I'm not touching it, but I found four vials of it. Now, there's... So, where he found it was just here. Hang on. Why is that not working? Wait, wait. I'll go for that. That should work. Okay. Why does that not work? Uh, let me take a look at this. Can I um, use my knowledge of potion making to investigate what this... Actually, that's a really good point. I think I might be good with poisons. Um, and I've got the advantage against poison. I'm going to use my medicine skill. Mm -hmm. Are you investigating the vials? Are you touching yes. them? I'm looking at them without touching them first. Okay. But kind of like for so at disadvantage because you're not picking them up? Well, sorry, I'm not touching the green liquid. Yeah, I'm kind of like... So you pick the vials up? Yeah. Okay. Then give me... Medicine or um, medicine chain. Yep. Go. Uh, that's a 15. And then give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Okay, okay fine. <laughs> oh, sorry, that'll actually be a. Plus three, 23. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Um, so, I'll, I'll, I'll so from your medicine check, and without touching it because of your ridiculously ambulant fingers, um, and dexterous handling of said material, um, A, you don't cut yourself, B, you don't touch any of the green material but it looks quite sort of greenishly honey and it reminds you of a poison that you studied um, in your early monk days and it is reminiscent of something that is not 
a poison that you would apply to an individual, yet a uh, sort of concentrated mix. So, um, Duncan, as part of my character's thing, I've got a poisonous kit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if that would give me any background knowledge in poisons to maybe <coughs> identify what Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, if you wanted to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me a... Um, give me a nature check. Oops. I just did something. At advantage because of your poisoning. I assume you have a proficiency in the poisoning kit. Um, I don't know. I'll find out in just a second. Okay, well then, just a normal one. Whilst that's happening, Cobb will relay what he's uncovered from this. And he says... I would assume that most, if not all, of the wine has been poisoned. This poison here what? is not for, not what you would use to poison an individual, but rather... What I said to him yeah. is what you understand it okay. to be. But yeah. rather, stuff like this, fats of large, it's for concentration. And I'm still... I'm going to go try... Wait, does that kill the person? other bed? The thing that I find interesting oh, sweet, it does. about this... So, and, sorry, you're going to go to the other vat, yeah, and, and do one. what? Drink it. Just have a small sip of it. I that. would not do this. No, no. <laughs> so you're going to go. Yeah. You go to the other vat and you try it. So yeah. you grab a glass and you drink it. Yeah, from the one that he didn't drink from the other one. Yeah. So, from the fact that it's the uh, middle one where Cosron is. Yeah. Do you go to the north or, to, or sorry oh, to Cosron the east or the north? Yeah. Cosron's up there, like but Cosron can't move. So he, okay, drank, yeah, he okay. drank from that one, correct? The, no, he, he drank from the one. He drank from, one, from right? the one at the end. That one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this one here. <coughs> okay. All right. Um, Cub. So, so you, you pour a glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll what come I back find to you. is interesting is that the vials are broken, and they're not inside the vat. That's correct. Okay. They're out there. Sorry, you found them, and I'm. I've got a. I don't know what's going on, but you found them just here. Hmm. Okay. So the, the the thing that I find interesting is that normally, if you're trying to poison something, you would pour, uh, or unless they've just dropped it afterwards. That's the only thing. Mm. So, which might suggest that. They were in a rush, perhaps. I don't know. Well, one of them did get kind of. Oh, sorry, I'm not. I'm busy ritualing. Mm. And you're ritualing against this one, aren't you? The um, the one that he drank from. So the end one. The, the end one. one. Sorry. Okay. The one that we know for sure is yeah. poison. Yeah. This makes me. And think. they poured the other two bottles from this one. Perhaps it was. Yeah. Not the oh, did they? Not the. Yeah. So it's the one that they. Mm -hmm. Filled the two glasses not with. Concerned with the wine, as far as we know. Is that right? Hang on. No, the, I thought she got it from the, the end one, and then he got a glass. Mm. And they yeah, had ample true. time, Sorry. Yeah. uninterrupted, <laughs> with the winery to, as you say, pour and not mm. rush. And yet we've got these four broken vials of poison here. I say to, um, uh, what's her name, Stefani? Is it Stefani? Yes. So Stefani's the, um, the, the brother, uh, sorry, the wife to, the wife. um, yeah. Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. And Adrian and Stefani here. Adrian's the one who you saved, essentially, from poisoning. Yeah. Um. Oh, I wish we didn't. Why? Because Adrian didn't come and help us. Stefani, come on. Elvira and Esmeralda are off packing uh, the wagon. Packing something. Um, Stefani, come and have a look over here. Um, I found some vials of what looks like poison that's been. He comes over and he goes, Oh, this is not ours. It's those dust truths. Sure, but. Well, Intent on destroying us. What I want to ask is <laughs> what's in this particular vat that might make them want to poison this vat? As opposed to say maybe any of the other. Ones. Uh, all these vats contained uh, 
Well, they all contain the purple grape marsh, and it's all we've been able to produce for some months now since the witch from the east came and dug up the last, uh, second last gem. Okay. <clears throat> Those scarecrows came in the night. It was horrific. It was all I could do to protect my children. What did you do to protect your children? I barricaded ourselves in the room. Okay. Where are your children? Mm, they are upstairs. Still well, barricaded in the room, obviously. Asked. I haven't seen any children. Like, no. There were some uh, children. Like when you first arrived, seen... there were some children. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. But you haven't seen them since. They weren't at breakfast with... They the weren't at dinner, they weren't at breakfast. When you feed these kids. <laughs> seen but not heard. <laughs> Traditional Warovian <laughs> values. <laughs> Um, so, do, do you think that it was the druids that have poisoned the wine? I know it in my heart. Who else would seek to undermine my family's tradition of... Why Why would they do this? Why Still do the druids is... give a shit about your wine? All they want was a gym. Did you try the one, the other one? I am waiting oh, sorry. to see yeah. what happens. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm coming you back. You know that's all they're interested in. Still, I mean, how do they, why would they care? Still, your mind. Let me ask a question. Well, uh, doing some un, ungodly ritual somewhere, aren't they? Maybe if it comes into that poisoning wine. Let me ask. Yeah, if, if if we assume that you know they're they're some evil ritual and they need to fuel it with uh, the deaths of people, what better way than to poison this wine, which basically everybody in the whole of Barovia loves drinking? They could kill hundreds of people. Hmm, fear, fear. Okay, Aaron, a couple of minutes left for you. Um, my concern is, is that the other barrels have been poisoned too. And I see four vials and we do have four barrels and Steph, um, Adrian sort of looks, you know, down across them all, although, albeit, three left. Okay. My, uh... Without drinking the wine, is there any way of knowing if this poison's been put into any of the other barrels? Sorry, just point of... So let's come to... Point of clarity, because when I asked before, has anyone drunk any of the wine in Barovia before. He mentioned that he had a few laps of the wine that's built out. Was that a joke or was that actually what happened? No, well, during the fight. I... During the a point of clarity, you were not asked to make a, a constitution saving throw for the poison wine. Maybe was that a. No, it was not an oversight. Was not an oversight. So, I suppose. And, and can I just say that he lapped up from the fourth... The first bit. The first. Yeah. yeah. During the battle, Grond quite eagerly lapped up from the broken barrel, and yet was seemingly not poisoned. Mm-hmm. Either this barrel was not poisoned, and... Or oh, I'm stronger than poison. Can I, you do a constitution saving throw now, please? For, um, is this against poison, by any chance? Yes. So I've got advantage. Sixteen. In total? Yeah. Okay. You detect a bitter taste, yet you are unaffected. Tastes like shit. Uh, with... So during the battle, Gron quite eagerly lapped this up, and yet was evidently not poisoned. And yet we have four vials here. This must have happened... Afterwards, if it was not poisoned. Overnight. And yet you are unaware, Adrian. This has happened after the druids have left. I do not know. I have been with my family in the woods, and my father and that woman uh, went to the field. And then uh, after everything settled down, we uh, came and uh, we joined you upstairs. I have not been here. I cannot make comment on such 
project projection. What is your relationship with the Pistani? The Pistani? Yeah. I sense fears of the Pistani, and they have their ways with all sorts. Clearly, my father is enamored with her. Hence, uh, why my younger son is to travel with her. Perhaps he suspects some treatise will be made in the future. I do not know. But is the Vistani, a... they come and they go and they are nothing but servants of him. Is there any history of conflict between the Vistani and your family? No, there is no history of conflict. And Adrian, you did not visit us last night. What do you mean? I have children and a wife to attend to. We were visited by a raven. Well, it was not me. And did you meet my companions? Are you talking about... Uh... Yes. And did you meet Do you my... know about... Yes, you showed us your form before. Yes, but do you know... Of the it's not of limited to just my family. Indeed. There is a wider community at play here. Have you met my companions here previously at a tavern? I have not met you. Interesting. You understand that, uh, and he looks looks around. The keepers are not just my family. There are many throughout Barovia who keeps watch, seeking the weakness in him, seeking for the prophecy to come true, and that we one day shall be delivered by a set of mighty and courageous heroes to our land. Are you the? I do not know. I do not possess the intellect to make such judgments. But you have saved my family's uh, winery and you have saved my children and indeed myself, my wife, and my brother and my father. Yes, yes. Very well. Uh, speak to me of this gift Curse, perhaps, these transformations into ravens. You say there are others, not just the <coughs> keepers, and not just your family. I shall not speak of them. Describe to me how these changes occur. What bestows these powers? It is uh, something in our blood. It comes to us once we become a man or a woman, and he turns to his wife, Stefani. And uh, it is uh, suitably managed here, for it is unwise to show form to those that perhaps their allegiances to, uh, to other than the people here. And would you say that there are those that have this power yet are not among the Keepers of the Feather? I cannot speak to that. I have heard of the wolves to the west. Whether that is true or not, I have not seen with my own eyes, and I have never been bothered by such tales of terror. By this you mean people that transform into wolves, Indeed. as you transform into a raven. Indeed, yet we and the Keepers of the Feather, we are only looking for opportunity to understand and protect the innocent. And, as the Vistani Witch says, perhaps one day we'll be visited upon a collection of individuals from beyond the mists who will deliver us from the grasp of Strahd. Very well. Cosron, what is your findings here? Is my 10 minutes up? It sure is. But Sweet. the... Oh, no, we've done it. Yeah. You can survive. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, unfortunate. unfortunate. <laughs> mm. right, grow Cosron, your spell has been affected. Cool. Let me you try feel it. the energy discharge and is absorbed by the, the, uh, the contents of uh, the fourth vat. Grond, this one here, 
<laughs> is now free of um, purified and rendered free of poison and disease. We've already tried it before we finished the sentence. No, this is a different one. Yeah, I tried it. I tried. So you move straight up. Well. Yeah. Pour yourself a glass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do a Constitution saving throw. Yeah, I just did, and it's uh, twenty-three. Oh. It tastes. Similar to what you just had. have had before, like just that one I just had, or just in the past? In the past, when you, because I think you had wine when you were in the Blue Water Inn. Yeah, yeah, it tastes incredibly similar. Mm. Cool. It's a fruity, yet fresh and young, with wisps of beetroot. Beetroot. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to waste another ten minutes on um, these guys because they're giving us. Basically, shit all at the moment. So, what do you want to do? All right, I'm just gonna, as you're saying, that I'm just filling up my flask with that wine from the one mm-hmm. that you purified. Put it in my little bag. Like, well, the um, poison wine in the um, vials on the, the bottles before, are they all being picked up or are they still remaining there? No, we picked them up. Okay. No, you picked up. Vials. Oh, the poison vials. He's talking yes. about the bottle. No, no, the, I'm... the two bottles of wine that she filled up before it was purified. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, that hasn't been purified. Yeah. That was so he's part asking of your spell. Yeah. Them off before that. Yeah, they're just on the floor. Um, so they haven't up been, against the wall. They haven't been touched at all. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to collect one of them and take it with me. Okay. Add that to your character sheet, and I'm actually. We need to do a bit of it. You haven't collected too much, you guys, so a um, bottle of wine. I also have a vial of bat, bat urine, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I recognise I need to print some cards off, so I... Uh, it's going to come in clutch at the very end, you know. I have a vial of bat urine, a needle, Drink and a this, drugged pie. Drink bitch! Did <laughs> yeah, I, I give you the needle? Pie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did I give you the needle as a card? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Okay. So you've got... Yeah. It's going to be... The pie covered in bat piss, and it's gonna get you straight into the strap now. I mean, I wasn't thinking that, but now that's all I can think of. It's like pocket sand, except it's like pocket piss. Pocket piss! Alright, so. Bottle of fucked up wine. Brian, I know you're stuck out there and. Do we know what we're gonna do after we after we leave here? Well, we're gonna either head to the druids or the swamp place. Are we not? Yeah, yeah. That's an either or. Do we know which one of those things we're doing? I vote the druids. But the swamp. So Adrian and Stefani say uh, thank you. Um, do you think that you could check the other two barrels? What's in it for me? Oh, you already have been of such great assistance, and uh, I recognise that this must take some uh, personal drain upon yourself. I would be prepared to uh, reward you if you could perhaps ensure that what wine we do have, because this is pretty much it for production, is not forthcoming till we return us gem to the fields. So you will reward me for drinking wine? Yeah. I, I, it, I, 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 think I, I, I shall, I shall go consult with my father and inform him of this, uh, this unfortunate set of circumstances. Shall Stefani, my darling, stay here with our visitors and uh, assist them as you can. Before you go, I, I shall will say... I you to your father. Yeah. Also, my time is very valuable. If you expect this to be um, the same as your first, then we will want to see something for it. I'm, Indeed, I'm sure It's a pretty will. disgusting attitude, Cosron. <laughs> Innocent Barovian people want to drink this wine. Hey, Adrian did not turn up when I yelled out. Answer. I so wasted Cub, a turn to yell out to Adrian and he didn't Cub rock is, up. Cub and Adrian, like you guys disappear up and then go up the stairs. Um, and uh, disappear, and mm-hmm. I'll have a conversation with you separately once I work out what these guys are doing when you're walking towards Darby. And I'll try the other vet. 
Okay, give me a constitution saving throw. I'm going to go with cut. 16. Okay. It tastes bitter, but you are unaffected. They all seem good to me. <laughs> That's bitter. <laughs> uh, they seem fine. I'm not dead. Stefani uh, goes to the second vat and pours herself a glass from the small tap. And she says, are you sure? Do I, am I peeled over? Indeed. Oh, and she takes a drink. I'm, I'm watching this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she immediately throws up and collapses to both her knees, clutching her stomach. And she says, he's poison still. And then throws up again. Just so is that the second barrel, is that? Yeah. Okay. Not right. the one that I purified. No, not the one you purified. No. What are you talking about? You just can't handle your wine. <laughs> She's got phlegm and a little trickle of blood now coming from her mouth. Oh, gross. I'm just kind of looking like... Uh, I'm, I'm still wine. watching. This, this, yeah. isn't, this isn't anything to do with us now. No. You yeah. should have paid us. <laughs> Yeah. Is anyone... That's what old mate was going to talk to his dad about. <laughs> yeah, well... All right. Anyway. Um, Brian, you're coming. You're... Um... I'm, I'm going with Cub. Oh, so there's just three of us. All right. The, <laughs> the three of you go out into the kitchen. Because I can't take Brian with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but I don't have any uh, antidote. Oh, from right. finger poisonous. That's you too, David. Yo, go on, go on. Be gone! Be gone. Shut the door behind you. Adrian leads you up into the bedroom where you, you find Darvian alone. Um, and uh, on your way, as you go um, up the steps to the right, out, you can see down below where there's a wagon. So that's... Um, that's in this area. Yep. Brian, I assume you can see that on your map? Yeah, yeah. 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 So as you go sort of through those those two doors, um, back into the main part, you can see uh, Esmeralda and um, Elvia um, strapping some barrels to a wagon um, below there. Uh, you then head back in through there and Darvian is sitting at his writing desk uh, in his, uh, his bed chamber. Wait, sorry, goes, hold on. Um, timing wise, those barrels were like when when like we were taking down stairs to see the wine, but were they already stocked or were they like presumably they're filled barrels that they're stocking, right? When did that happen? Because presumably straight after breakfast, like everyone leaves, we go downstairs. Like were they filling it from the vats or were they already filled? We didn't see them there. Okay. You saw them at breakfast, they disappeared, and now you just see them strapping barrels to the cart. Before we go in, can I call down to them and say, Would you like to join us upstairs? We have news to share. It is pressing before you depart. Ezra looks up and goes, Yes, okay. And Elvia, let's go. Elvia protests, but she prevails, and they both then join you um, upstairs, mm -hmm. outside the father's room in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And all Cub wants to do here is let Adrian speak, but watch the reactions of um, mainly the father, but also the son and Esmeralda. Clank, what are you doing? Uh, also, just quietly observing. Um, Adrian walks in, followed by Elvia, his youngest brother, um, and Esmeralda behind him. Um, and then you uh, both follow. Davian is at his desk, and he is uh, making some entries in uh, a book of some form. He goes, yes, 
what what is it? More problems? Um, Adrian says uh, our wine has been poisoned by the fucking druids, father. He goes, oh, why do they do this to us? How much? Which appear uh, the first that father. Perhaps the second and third. There were four vials found by one of uh, these people. And he points to you guys. Darvian goes, I see. The druids intend to destroy everything that Barovia holds dear. God knows what they intend to do. Was there any reaction from anyone when he said that the wine had been poisoned? Give me an inside check. Can I do one as well? Uh, With advantage for cup. Okay. Okay, with advantage for cup, alright. Uh, that'll be a 18 total. Yeah, just save me. Because yeah. you're both <laughs> yeah. here, otherwise I've got to take it both out. Um, genuine looks of concern, surprise, shock, disgust, contemplative what is conspiring against us kind of feel. So very genuine in their response as to what the fuck are the druids doing. Um, Darvian goes, uh, we must check all the wine, ensure it is safe before we ship. May Tell I offer some insight. He, he, he turns to um, Elvia. You must, uh, you must check your wine before you depart. He turns to Esmeralda, my lady, I am so sorry for the inconvenience. You, you shall be on your way with my uh, youngest and most virile son uh, shortly. The first fat has been purified. I would suggest filling new barrels from this purified amount. There's no sense in tasting poison wine. This... I would assume all of are you are, are you assured of its purity now? Yes, indeed. Okay, Elvia, see to this. My Esmeralda, my dear, uh, could you assist and could you and your friends assist? We must get some wine into town. Further. I do understand my deceitful son's need to continue to provide provision of uh, this fluid to those misfortunate souls. Yet uh, the soulless of... Tell me, Darvian, do you no seek revenge on your son? I do not seek revenge. I, I just wish to... for him to admit that he has taken and perhaps sold the gem to Strahd himself or whoever he has done. For it is, uh... Is there any kind of, like, flinch or reaction when I say, like, do you seek revenge that kind of like no. looks like he's batting off? No. He seems quite genuine, I've said this to all you guys, yeah. yeah. so I'll share it now. Um, he seems absolutely most genuine that he believes that his son has stolen the first gem. Something that has occurred to me is that the fourth bat, the fourth bat was spilled during the battle and our, you saw our eager dwarf before. He. I witnessed him lap up some of the wine, and yet he was not poisoned. And yes, those fucking drugs. Indeed, the the vials of poison that we found were shattered, as if someone was hurriedly attempting to poison something. These druids had two days, you say, that you were put out of your home. Indeed, ample time to poison without having to rush or hurry or. Accidentally break Perhaps your attack brought forward their plans. I think it is more likely that perhaps this poisoning happened after the druids have left. You say someone from my family? Huh? Not That's... necessarily. Someone else could have sneaked in. Yes, indeed. Not necessarily your family. This is not what I'm... What I'm implying. What I'm... Merely stating is that this safe. appears to be after the druids. Adrian! Adrian was not aware of this unless he were to poison himself. He drank unknowingly from the vat. Adrian looks at his father, his eyes widen. 
he goes, the children. And he rushes from the room out. And from audio, you get that he's rushed from the room here, out that door, out that door, and gone down that corridor. Come we'll look at Clank. I will go and I'll r- chase after Adrian. Yeah, same. So, Darvian, Esmeralda, and Elvia all look quite shocked. Um, Esmeralda and. It's on the battery, it's not plugged Yeah, in. no, I've just unplugged it because it's quite hot. Should. And again, that's because I've got the battery there. Should but I take the battery understand. out and plug the power in? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do next time. Um, so. Esmeralda Elvia will uh, basically run out as well, but not fate following the children. Darvian comes into the hallway and stands. Um, uh, Adrian runs down the hallway and goes into uh, this room. Races in there. Um, And um, you hear... Um, as you enter the corridor uh, up here, as you sort of come through here, um, you know, I'll just put you guys there. Oh, hang on. Yeah. As you guys are sort of there coming in, Darvian's there as well. You push past him. Um, you you basically hear, Father, Father. What's the matter? Like, and children just being shitty that their dads just burst in. You know, typical sort of Mm -hmm. um, commentary. Um, And uh, Adrian returns and closes the door behind him and says, The children are fine, Father, almost looking past you. And he says, uh, and then he looks suddenly to, uh, you know, to, to the west, this direction. Um, to the sort of corridor. And he goes, I'll be a peril. I would check that nothing has been tampered with and be cautious of any wine or any food stores that you've had here. Indeed. Okay, so at that point, what do you guys intend to do? Do you continue to have this separate conversation or will I bring the rest of the guys back in? Um, do you intend to return back to them or are you going to remain in the corridor and explore stuff? I mean, I didn't really get... My main intention was to kind of just see if anyone had a tell when we said that things were poison. So, um, I think Cub wants to go and... I guess just return to the party, I suppose, because... Brian, Clank's intent? Yeah, I can't think of anything else productive to do up here. Um... All right. Is it worth worth exploring the rest of the winery, like bits of it that we've not seen? Perhaps, but I don't think our skill set is... We would require the others as well. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll go get the other guys back. Alright. Alright guys, back in. I think it's the dad that's fucking with everything, to be honest. I don't. You don't? No? No. Because I no. thought that McAfee used to be a really good virus scanner, but now it's just malware more or less. Ooh, so it smells good. like whiskey in here. <laughs> it might be the seven bottles that we've got in here. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I've got to try this. I've still got some arbor here, though. Are you going to go and smoke? Well, a lot better than um, downstairs. <laughs> What are you talking about? Are you aware of what's happening downstairs, yeah? Oh, no, we're not aware of what's happening downstairs. (laughs) We're just watching it. Just go up. 
Oh, this is this guy's wife too, right? There, there is no, no tell up here of any issue, telepathically. There's a bit of a tell down here of an issue. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, Old Dahl says to Gron, is this wine poisoned? And he says, I drank it and I'm fine. So then she drank it and now she's not fine. And yeah. And Cosron's about to burn the body. <laughs> She's not dead man. yet. Getting better. Are you not? <laughs> we are coming um, now. <laughs> can you and Brian, you, um, can you both roll a perception check, please? Dice cat. Oh, 16. Ooh, nice. 16 Dice. plus. Uh, six, so twenty-two. Twenty-two for you, Brian. Uh, yep. Twelve. This floor appears to be made of floor. twelve. Now I've already. Well, I was going to say, like, I've to Aaron. I said there are no tells up here. We have no, like, no reason for concern. Um, and then he has said that, oh, there are tells down here, um, flagging in which that someone is poisoned. <laughs> someone might be poisoned. You just can't handle her like a... <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have anything that I can... Uh... Got rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say to everyone else that's up here, quick, someone... Someone else has been poisoned downstairs. They have tasty poison wine. How's Kong doing? He's alright. He's got his jobbies on. He's got his blanket. Oh God! And uh, he's got another couple of weeks to go before he uh, gets his bandage off. No. Oh. <laughs> so sad. Horror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other one that she wants, uh, she wants her mum back. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, dad's, dad's not a good enough replacement. We saw, we saw her in the background just before like Ruby came in. It was just like, are you fucking done? Like, what are you, what are you doing? Just uh... he is, she is OCD as well, and it's long past bedtime. So she's like, when are we going to bed, Dad? <laughs> okay, Brian. I assume you've got a message. Nope. I think you've been oh, checking your messages. Did I send that to the wrong <laughs> Discord person? Yes. It's great. Yep. No, I've got it. Okay. Okay, so um, both of you return um, to the bottom floor. <laughs> Someone come over here. She's, she's, looks, I think she's poisoned. It's not what it looks like. Um, hearing that, uh, Carmel climbs. So Stefani is on the floor, like sort of whimpering in pain, clutching her stomach. And she goes, this is poison still. You lied to me. And she looks up at you, Cosra. Uh, uh, not Cosra, I'm sorry. I'm fine. Uh, Cub's going to see what he can do to help. Just running up and trying to, without any, I've got nothing else. Holy water. <laughs> so Brian, that's sort of what you think. On reflection, like you're processing that as you walk down, so it was like, you know, you're not 100 percent sure. So, but that's as you as by the time you get there, that's what you reflect upon. Yeah. Okay, I, I've just relayed relayed that to uh, Cub. Ah, uh, I didn't see or hear anything. It, it's 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 on your it's on your phone. You did. I, I've whispered it to you. We're coming downstairs. Oh, yes. okay. Mm, hang on, bear with me. Two seconds. It's not. Um... Okay. Um... Cub is going and trying to seek attention or to like help um, with Stefani, and then psychic whispers to Aaron. Someone is hiding upstairs. 
use this as a distraction to find out who. Okay. I presume I hear that as well, given I'm in the psychic whispers game. Yeah, 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 we can group chat. <laughs> group chat. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll uh, pile in and see if I can help with the, with the uh, medicine on um, Stefani. Okay, so does everyone have a medicine kit? Uh, I have a herbalism kit. Okay. That just means you can roll your own stones. <laughs> At disadvantage, do a meta, uh, herbalism <laughs> proficiency check. Uh, medicine. Medicine. I have a medicine kit, unfortunately. Oh, I, look, that was, oh, that's a 9 and a 6. Do you want okay. guidance while you're doing this, uh, Cal? Yeah, that'll be great. Um, that'll be a 12 plus guidance is a d4. Oh, d4, shit. yeah. Um, oh, you're right, me... Jesse? That is a 4. Is someone 150 million? No. Well, four. someone did. I've... One, two, three, four. I've got five at least numbers. You won. No. I mean, total of 16. Jesse's buying all the whiskey from now on. By <laughs> <sense>. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got them all. So I've got six, no, four, four numbers, five numbers, and the Powerball. Does that give you anything? Yeah, that's like division four or three. Nice. Fuck, that's all right. <laughs> Does it tell you how much I'm in a syndicate though, so it probably means I get 20, 20 bucks. $12.37. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no. Uh, so I'm in a, it's only actually a 10 syndicate, so... Hmm. $120.37. I'm going to be very happy to see it in the morning. Um, <laughs> all right. 16 total. Uh, what was that for, sorry? Uh, medicine um, to... Say, so, oh, with the herbalism kit, yeah. you find in your kit like some herbs and you sort of thrust it into her throat, and she begins to stabilize, although she is still writhing in pain. Yet, you assess that this has been of some benefit to her, and she shall not pass or be further afflicted. Mm -hmm. and he was... So, Stefani is sort of recovering, still whimpering in pain. You guys have come down. You've had your little cycle whispers. Um, uh, Adrian is with you. Uh, he is at on his knees with his wife, um, and uh, he uh, he's going. He's going. What what the fuck happened? I'm gonna take another drink from the vet she just drunk from. Okay, give me a Constitution saving throw. Um, is that um fifteen? No, it is bitter, really but you are unaffected. I'm just simply <laughs> drinking it in front of her, looking at her. Just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I was reading the top, which is the winning numbers. So uh, I'm a dickhead. Never mind. Ignore me. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you got all the winning numbers because you were reading the winning numbers. I was, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I got um, five winning numbers though, Let's so I get a bit. Take this away for you. <laughs> <laughs> I still get um, division four, I think. That's all. Right. Yeah. But yeah, probably 10 bucks. Jesse pulls up in a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> G23 <laughs> next week. So, you know, it's all right. 10 bucks, guys. Don't worry. Um, okay, so this is what's happening. So, oh, Stefani on the floor, yep. stabilizing, less whimpering. Adrian next to her. Um, Esmeralda and. Um, Elvira uh, disappeared, obviously, from upstairs and, and made their way back down to the vats. Uh, sorry, to the, the cart and, and the barrels under their father's instructions. Darvin remains in his room. Uh, as far as you know, the children remain upstairs. Um, what do you guys want to do? I'm taking advantage of the distraction to uh, head upstairs and I'm trying to try and find who's home. Okay, show me where you head upstairs. Um, Clank has psychic whispers with you, so yep. if there's any further information. Clank, do you know roughly where someone was hiding? It's this way, isn't it? Yep. And then up around there, those steps up to the... Hey, hey, keep an eye on your phone, David. Okay. Oh, my website. Where are you going? What are you doing? Says Arian. Who, me? Says yeah. I said that? Yeah, he calls out as you're going up the stairs. I'm going to the toilet. 
Oh, it no, is no. outside. It is at ground yeah. level. Yeah. This yeah. way. And he points. Yeah. Okay. There's an outhouse to the west. Okay, I'll find it. Thanks. You just look after your wife. Can you give me a persuasion check? Ooh. Okay. Uh, Don't worry. He believes you. It's like, oh yeah, right. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if your wife was like in trouble and then suddenly you're like, where are you going, man? Your wife would be like, fucking excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Well, you still hit her side. Yeah. Still there. I just yeah, so saw you leaving. You. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, David, can you move your token where you want to go? Oh, and is I'm, anyone else doing anything while David's um, sort of skulking away so unobviously that Adrian, concerned with his wife, notices? He's just still drinking the wine looking at them. Oh, did I move back? Or where have Oh, disconnected. I'll just so, move your mini. Yeah, I'm going. Don't get this one. Yeah, oh, there. Okay. Okay, so and at that you point, move here. Yeah. You need to open a door. Oh, is that the door? Okay. Yeah. So I'll stand here. Yeah. And um, I'm going to use to the best of my ability, um, silent and stealthy, and just jar the door open and look around. Okay, give me a stealth check. Here we go. Here we go. Rogues being rogues. <laughs> oh, nice. 19. 19. Ooh. What the fuck? My thing is just this connection. Okay. You see a fucking druid to me. Looks like a fucking druid. <laughs> Alright. Um all right, quick psychic send to Cove and Clank. Um I, I see someone. Could be could be a druid. What do you want me to do? Stop them? If I fuck them up and we'll come up the <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you say that sorry, you say that with psychic whispers. Psychic whispers, yeah. yeah. Okay, no you way. see the druid is moving very, very cautiously down the stairs now, about to disappear. Druid confirmed. <laughs> right, still, still within eyesight. He's creeping yeah. away. Yeah, he's disappearing though. He's going down the stairs. Follow them. Follow. Follow them. All right, I'll, I'll follow. I'll stealth and I'll follow as well. Okay, give me another stealth. Another stealth. Couple turn. To the rest of these guys and quietly, calmly say, There is another druid. 21? Mm. Fuck. Yeah, okay. He is completely oblivious to you um, as yeah. you move down. Well, that's about where I'm at. Is oh, about, about there? Yeah, okay. okay. There is another druid here. Wait! And then, I'll be like, and then Psyche whispers to you, Where are they headed? Uh, down the stairs at the bottom of the western corridor. Adrian, down the stairs at the bottom of the western corridor, where does that lead? What? I you mean in the tower, the western tower? Yes. It leads to... The... It leads to... Outside. Okay. Can you show us at where we point, will meet? We'll I'm gonna leave and go at the, the fastest method outside that I can. Yeah, we're gonna run to kind of cut them off. Oh, that's not me. That doesn't look like you. Why is that not Um. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's alright. Let me load this. Right, so this is where we were fighting. Yes. So there should be a door. Out that way. Yeah. Okay. 
So, as I said, um, something so Adrian, hang on, let's let, let's let me sort out where we're at. So Adrian's with his wife, Darwin's back in the bedroom, those guys are shagging over there, they're in the bedroom, and this is there, you guys are there, Aaron's there. Okay. Escort your wife upstairs, we will seek to cut off this. Um, can, sorry, Cub, can you just ask me the question you asked again? Where do the western stairwells lead? Are you pointing or...? Uh, to the direction where I feel um, uh, Aaron is coming from with the... I'm assuming that's what the... that direction. Okay, come, come with me because I need to clarify something and I don't want everyone else to... <laughs> Necessarily want to kill this thing, but I want to kill something. Mm. <laughs> Who is uh? So he he on each he trick a finger. Yeah, he's got his double shot of fucking like, elder blast. And elder no, blast I don't want to put infestation on the bitch. <laughs> Make it um, really painful. Because remember, Cosron's not a nice guy here. <laughs> he's never been a nice guy. Just say, get your wife somewhere safe, warn the others, and we will attempt to cut off the druid that is escaping. Um, and I'll just psychic whispers to Aaron, keep us updated with as you follow. Do, do you want me to attack or just follow? Just follow. Okay, I'll follow. Okay, so Aaron, the druid goes down, and I'm not going to change the map, but basically. You went upstairs, and then you've now come follow the druid downstairs. Yep. Right? And so, um, come with me outside. I'll meet you outside. I worked out how much I want. Yeah, so I got Division 3. Oh, shit. I want $43. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's before the syndicate takes their cut. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> <laughs> 251 people won $11,000. Oh, shit. Sure. So, whatever, 11000 divided by 250 which is $43. That's what I mean. Like many people that spend that? hundreds of thousands or a year on lottery, oh. if you don't win one or two, you get nothing. Kino's where it's at, but you will never win a large Kino prize. No, just investing in stocks is where it's at. <laughs> no. Well, one... Um, group of people win the anything over a hundred million every time. Like it's huh? yeah, the North Ride. Um, what are they called? North Ride, not Yacht Club, but it's a company or a, a kino centre in um, North Ride, hmm. and it's about six doctors, um, plastic surgeon, and all this. They put together a certain amount, and they figured out that um, if the jackpot's up to a certain amount, they need they need to spend. It's around nine hundred thousand. And that guarantees them the jackpot. Yeah, and they do it. It's ninety nine point nine percent. I think once in the last ten years they haven't won it. How much is the jackpot? The jackpot can go up to forty million, eighty million. Yeah, it's basically a cash invoice for them every year. It's it's bullshit. What but, the fuck? Yeah. Yep. And because it's a consistent and more or less guaranteed thing, they're getting taxed as a normal tax rate for it. <laughs> oh really? Mm. Yep. Because it's guaranteed. That's how the ATO treats it. What? Really? Yep. Didn't know that. I thought it because it's considered prize payments. N yes, but if there's consistency to it, mm. it's mm. no longer prize. I guess they're still making a, a ridiculous amount, aren't they? No. Yeah. Mm. Alright, um, as, as I'm following this individual down around the stairs, 
I'm just gonna quickly send to you, Cub. Cub, I'm at the ground level, but this person's still going further down. It, it looks like there's some sort of underground thing. I don't know where this goes to, but I'm gonna keep following. Mm -hmm. We should follow where the route that Aaron's gone, not try and cut this person off outside. Indeed, let us... Um, Dave, I'll... can you just refresh? And I'm just wondering whether you're seeing the same map. I'm just wondering if the app's smart enough to put you on a different map. Uh, I'm no longer on that map. And just refresh, you know. Yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. No. Okay. I'm trying. No, no, that's fine. I was just wondering whether, like, obviously in, um, uh, what's it called? In um, No, in, um, the Forge foundry mm. um you would see a different map but okay obviously this isn't doing that and that and that's cool that's cool mm -hmm. uh, cubs going to relay that so sorry everything so it's just the continuation of that spiral stair yep i'll, I'll keep following but I've, I've sent to cub that i'm i feel like i'm going below ground now because mm. you know i'm a half league we can do it. Okay. <laughs> uh cubs going to relay this to everyone else um we should follow where Aaron has gone. I do not. So do you verbally say that, or verbally say that yeah. out to these? Are people? we still in the room with old mate? And yeah, Adrian. Sick, Adrian looks up. He goes, "The, the western tower leads to the cellar," and he points towards. How the, do we get to the cellar from here? You, uh, you can go outside and go through the through the cellar door, or. You can go up and follow down. Oh, outside through the cellar door. Yep. Shall we go? Yep. Yep. Indeed. All right. We'll run out to the cellar door. I'm gonna I'm gonna run up the stairs and go the way uh, Aaron went. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Snoop <laughs> 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 <Spook> turf party. <laughs> All right. Um. So. The classic pizza move. <laughs> it's our fucking favourite technique. Eh? <laughs> Usually comes about because people can't be bothered going one place, but yes. That's the song we're both hoping to get to the same place. Well, my reasoning is that this guy's already uh, got it wrong once and told us he'd let outside. Uh, I'm thinking, what does he know where, where the set of tours are anywhere else? The only thing I know for certain is that Erin is definitely on this person's tail. Mm. That okay. might have been Cubs' um, interpretation. Just give me two secs. on the fly so just give me some um patience um so who's downstairs is uh clank uh, is uh, cub cub grond and cosron are downstairs clank is running upstairs cosron grond where's grond downstairs, downstairs. yeah yep. You have another flask of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to worry about. Um, and sorry, sorry, Clank, you're upstairs, yeah. Yep. Fine. Running, running to fire yeah. area. And then you're going down the stairs. So you run yep. up. So you run upstairs, and then follow down the corridor, and then go downstairs. Um, yep. Okay. A mental imagery of Clank so, being, like the Terminator chasing after the car. So Clank, you're running down the stairs over there. You guys are on the ground level. 
Um, uh, Cub, you go here, and there's a door in front of you that leads into a room. Mm -hmm. So you can now move into the room. Yeah, I have a refresh on mine. Yeah, so I assume all of you guys move into the room. You can see that there is a door up here that leads outside, and you can see stairs leading down here. Down into the cellar. Uh, is yeah. it dark down there? It certainly is dark. Yeah. So it's going to light his torch and make his way. Okay, that's going to take a little bit to flint it, light it. So mm -hmm. clank, I'm over on you. So what what do you want to do? Are you going to continue down the stairs? Yep. Okay, and you continue down past a door that leads um, into the area that you were previously in and you are now um wait so i didn't need to go upstairs in the first place no but the door um you see the door from inside but the door was not obvious from the outside um oh, okay. and just let me please. this fucking family how long have they lived in this house and they don't know where everything is Aaron. so you've reached sort of nearly the bottom so i'm going to present for you guys now um okay so um Aaron you're here Ooh. you're here right mm -hmm. and you're coming around and you see um this sort of dank cellar area and just in front of you um you know in, in fact, it is, it, it's pretty much very, very dark, and I'll adjust that in a moment. Do you have night vision or anything? Mm, I don't think so. No. Okay. Let me, um, let me fix that. I have thermal vision. <laughs> like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, where would I know? Features and traits? I mean, I have no. dark vision. <laughs> yes, I'm up here. Oh, you guys can probably run ahead, but I need a, I need a torch. Lucky, brave, nimble, naturally so. I don't think you do. No. Because that would be too OP. Halflings are pretty... You, like... Full of... What's the word? Like? Oh, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you that. YouTube. Simply because, like, mm -hmm. I already have. So that that's pretty yeah, much what you see. Okay. Um, and Clank, right. you now catch up to Aaron, who's paused, sort of while this this um, druid has sort of very slowly and casually moved into the dark um, here. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of you guys. I'm just walking straight down the stairs because I don't live far yep. around. So you guys go down the stairs yep. now. I'm pushing down right. <laughs> straight away. Um, I need a torch. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not waiting for the torch. Cubs so probably Cub, last. Um, Cosron, and you're Gron. going down the stairs. And Grond, you're going down the stairs. Yep. Um, yep. And... He's getting so much fast ass room. No. <laughs> oh, I only need two more. <laughs> Not enough dice. Oh, we're losing Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we losing Brian? He's yawning. Oh, yeah. Well, we're nearly finished anyway um, for the night. Um, that, that TPK any second. <laughs> okay, and... Surprise! Okay, so that's what you guys see at this particular point. So you're going down the stairs. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's a door um, to your left as you're coming down the stairs. Mm -hmm. It is shut. Um, Brian and Aaron, you see that you, this, this druid has entered a cellar. Um, it is quite cool and it's dank, and there's an echo from his footfall. 
He has not yet detected either one of you, despite the fact you're a mechanical giant clanking machine. <laughs> um, I just rolled before, and he is like completely oblivious. Um, but he is moving very quietly and what he thinks is very stealthily um, into the cellar. Um, and then that's where we'll leave it, and we'll come back in uh, <laughs> in a little while. I'll, I'll put these back away. <laughs> put your bullets away. Seven D twenty ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Were you there when I was saying that I I can roll seven D twenty in first attack? Right, one D twenty. Yeah. yeah. Stunning strike. That if it if it lands. Yeah. Right. My next. Because I get a second attack, will be at advantage, so there's another 2d20. And then I have another... 2d20? For advantage. And then I have... Oh, that's to hit? That's to hit. Yeah. And then I have another two attacks, which, because they're stunned, will both be advantage. 7d20. Alright guys, thanks for that. Um, so, um, depending on what your immediate actions are, we may be rolling for initiative uh, next week. <laughs> um, or not. But you guys have stacked down the stairs, there's a door to your left. Uh, Brian and Aaron, you've like followed down the spiral staircase. This guy's oblivious to you. Um, he has struck some small light as he's come down, hence why you can see what you can see. Mm -hmm. um, it is a very dank, it's very cold. Um, but you are now subterranean to the winery. Mm. Hi right, Brian, thanks for that. And audio, I assume, much better. Um, Video, okay? Yeah, audio is much better. You're, you're yeah. away for the next couple of weeks. Yes. You? Now yeah. I'm I'm away. Um, so uh, I was talking about this before. So um, I come back on June the sixth. Now I'm happy to play on the Friday night, or we can move it to the thirteenth, or we can stick with the twentieth. If we could. Possibly move to the 13th because then, because I'm away that weekend of the first, uh, the 6th, 7th, 8th, no? Yeah, so I'm away 6th as well. Yeah, um, so possible 13th. How's everyone now? Um, I know you... I'm probably going to be off for June. Okay. Um, I may be able to do remote, I'll let you say. Okay. okay. Alright, well, let's just chat about it. But yep. basically, what I'm saying is. I'm available the 13th and 20th, mm -hmm. or um, otherwise, um, you know, a day either side of all those, a Tuesday or a Friday, uh, or not the 14th actually, sorry, and the 12th is actually my 56th birthday, so I better not book that out. Um, so I can do the 13th, I can't do the 6th because I fly back from Canberra late that night, yeah. I could do the 7th. Or the eighth, I could do sometime then if you wanted to do something. Um, otherwise, the next one that I'm tracking is the twentieth. Thirteenth or twentieth works for me, so whatever. Yeah, same for me. I, I wouldn't be able to do any earlier than that. Okay. All right, just put that in the chat. Let's work it out. Um, yeah. Jesse, totally cool. If you can remote in, that'd be great. Otherwise, just uh, honestly, work out. I can probably remote in. Yeah. Nice nights, so yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, Doug's got an awesome setup now for yeah. remoting in. It works well. Yeah, I've just got to work that out. I think I might try an iPad with, um, because like, yeah, it's just, I miss my tools. I've got all my plot notes for the session and all that sort of thing. And like, um, what do you need plot notes for? We all, we derail everything. Anyway. Yeah, I've done, yeah, totally. totally. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. See you, Brian. Yeah, Cheers, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Brian. See you, Kong. I see Kong's out the way on the side. Yeah, he's yeah. so done. <laughs> <laughs>